Greetings, fellow humans, and welcome to No Tea with Davey. I just wanted to leave a, a last parting message. Even though I do have friends and people who read me in Australia and other places where it's already way past midnight, and they're already starting their 2017, this is my, my last huzzah <coughs> for 2017. It's, it's, it's a short message of thank you. To everyone who has read me, <coughs> watched me, wished me well with the cough. <coughs> <coughs> Reviewed me, shared me. That sounds weird, shared me. No. Um, the people closest in my life, and the people who are always there, thank you. Uh, the people who write me with no agenda, thank you. The people whom I've been able to help and who who have shown that that maybe in this <coughs> in this weird writer journey, I can actually help them. Thank you. It's it's been cool to be able to help a couple of people. Um, to the people that I've met on YouTube, BookTube, AuthorTube, TubeTube. Um, thank you as well. It's been a pleasure to meet you. It's been a pleasure to interact, to share comments in conversation and book recommendations and writing tips and life tips and advice. <coughs> it's been good to share restaurant uh, recommendations as well or beer choices or ice cream choices or candy choices or everything because the more we share, I think the better off we are. Uh, it's been an interesting year. A lot of people are saying it's been a horrendous year or a bad year. I kind of disagree. No. Um, I know it's been a year where a lot of us <coughs> have either lost someone in our lives, like personal lives, or someone that we looked up to passed away. <coughs> the list is long and definitely harsh, but still, I had a good year. And I'd rather focus on the good and to say thank you. You know, thank you for a new job. Thank you for the opportunity to move. Thank you for the book events that I was able to have. Thank you for the opportunity to, to record three songs in a studio free of charge. Because some students needed training. So um, thank you to everyone who has read me. Thank you to every review that has uh, has been given. Um, as an indie author, that's that's definitely fuel for the fire. And I don't always know when people leave reviews and then I go, oh, let me check my books and then I see a new review and I get all giddy and if I had a tail, it would wag. Um, thank you to the friends that write me with no agenda, no no prompt, no anything. It's just like, oh, I just thought of you and missed you. That means a lot. Thank you to people whom I love. Um, there are some very special people in my life and my family and friends that definitely have made this year stellar. Um, thank you to the people who support me in very creative ways. Um, I always have an issue saying, oh, my readers or my followers or my fans, and I prefer the term friends. It's like friends and fans. Um, because it's oh, my fans. No, um, but I do have people who, who do support me in so many ways, so many creative and beautiful ways. One of the, the nicest ways is seeing them inspired, creating their own work. Um, and for people to go for it and to know that at least in one occasion or maybe more, um, <coughs> a couple of people have thrown caution to the wind because of a conversation or because... I message something and and it shows that their life is better for it. That is, I don't, I don't even know what that is. That is so beautiful. But still, um, this is a mes message of thank you. And I'm saying I'm just getting started. Um, next year is going to be busy uh, publishing-wise. I do have an aggressive agenda, uh, but I, I know that I'm going to make it because I'm a stubborn guy. And it's sometimes good to be stubborn. 
So, to everyone, um, try to focus on the good things of 2016 and what you can carry on to 2017. Um, don't <coughs> focus on resolutions that you're going to forget in March. Um, focus on stuff that you, you have to do. You know, you have to do this or that. Don't beat yourself up. Don't don't overshare. Some people do these very intense lists. I'm I'm guilty of that, but it's also my way of keeping myself in check and keep myself driven. But for other people, it ends up being something very frustrating. <coughs> um, so just be happy. <laughs> but yeah. Rather <coughs> than rambling on and coughing off, uh, coughing further, I wanted to thank <coughs> everyone who watches and shares the videos and comments on the videos. It's it's cool. It's cool to be able to express myself creatively in another way and also get more comfortable speaking in front of people so that when I do have a public event, there's less ums and more substance. <coughs> <coughs> I would have liked to have left the cough in 2016 but it's not going to be the case still um, again I'm not going to waffle further this is already 7 minutes long so that's too long I'll be succeed when I have to be and I'll ramble when I have to uh, but expect a lot of new, new things from yours truly um, I do have some interesting plans, and I and I think I, I think a lot of people will be pleasantly surprised, including myself. So I'm gonna aim for that and aim for being the best human that I can be. So with that thought and with endless thanks, I leave this 2016 with these message, these words of blah blah. I don't know. Just, just kind words of, of thank you and of appreciation because even if it's silly, even if it's meaningless in the big scope of things, it means something to me that people watch and comment and share because it means that I'm doing something right and that even though I'm far from a <laughs> super duper successful indie writer, I'm doing something right and that's worthwhile. And as long as um, it's worthwhile, and it makes me happy. I will always give my 150%. So, with many thanks, I say for the last time in 2016, peace, love, and magic.